Hi, this is Brad Buckner, SharpensBest.com. Uh, over the other day at Bass Pro Sharp, we bought a, a few knives and things like that. We bought a hatchet, and uh, I'm going to sharpen this hatchet. It's got a, a very abrupt, <laughs> like a 45-degree bevel on it, something like that. So I chose to go ahead and take my uh, little grinder here, and it's a 4-inch grinder, a uh, very expensive grinder uh, that I bought, uh, I think it was $12, I'll tell you the truth. And um, so if you're a little kid and all you got 75 cents in your pocket, that's very expensive. So we'll put it together on uh, the wrench there. And, oh my God, can you believe this? It was, honest to God, $12 at Harbor Freight, and they sent new brushes. Never seen a grinder come with new brushes. So A, they wear out really fast. B, maybe they really want you to come back to them, and after you use the... Uh, grinder for a long time um, you put new brushes in it and off you go okay this is slightly weird where oh never mind it's actually screwed on there it's where it belongs all right and we're gonna put the disc on there run it down there like that push the button give it a tighten when you take it off Take the wrench, bloop, like that. Okay, so we're gonna. Uh, I don't like the handles. I don't like handles and guards on anything. Should say that because that's not safe. But when you work 36 years as a welder, fitter, fabricator, grinding everything under the sun, um, you'll find that you take the guards off a lot of stuff. You can do a lot better work. I've never been hurt by the grinder. Um, wear some safety glasses. Grinders are very, very effective at putting stuff in your eyes. Um, so we just make a cut along here, like that. We'll cut it a little bit and go along here. And across here. Oh look, another C-section, and out comes a hatchet. This is a Schrade. Uh, it's I can tell the handles, it, it's solid all the way out um, by the weight of it, and then it's got a rubber, uh, well, kind of a rubber uh, molded handle on it. It's got a, a pretty good weight uh, head to it. It's got a hammer point back here, and um, it's actually a really nice little knife. Uh, it does say Schrade on it. Uh, Schrade, oh no, that actually says, uh, ooh, that's bright, S-C-A-X-E. 10. So, Schrade X10. Uh, that's pretty cool. Schrade. Alright. Uh, it's really thick. Gosh darn it, and I didn't get my paper again. So, we'll just have to ad lib the cardboard. We're going we're gonna to test the cardboard and see how it gets and how it is. So, Oop, that just tears. Okay, you can kind of. <laughs> kind of hack and chop and everything through there. So I'm actually going to reshape this and try not to get too much on their beautiful finish right here. So I'm going to reprofile it. I'm going to thin it down, take it down to about a probably a 12 degree, 10, 12 degree bevel like that because I really want it to cut wood and uh, when you chop into something. So I'm going to use my grinder to do that and uh, let me reposition a little bit. Move the table a little bit. Okay, and we're going to, oh, guess what, that 350 bull elk, he got away because I forgot to put bullets in the gun. <laughs> Alright, so, let's see.
And yes, I'll probably grind my finger at some point here. This side's easier. something to you if you use this side right here or that side right there you're actually going to get some serious grind marks uh, in the blade but if you use this part right in here as it turns and you're like this you're parallel to the blade so you have a much better job um, you have less deep scratches you can finesse an edge on there easier so let's see here in the Sun Okay, I'm going to hold still when I said SOB, whatever I said. That's when I got a little too high and scratched it right there. Um, I might even leave that on there. I might fix it. I don't know. This side, I didn't make any messes uh, on it, and you can see that it actually looks pretty darn good. The shine is pretty even. Um, I've got it down now to probably <laughs> less than 10 or 12 degrees, and that's, that, that's good. Um, I do have it tiny bit off-center. Uh, We'll work on it just a little bit uh, on that right there. So we we'll look at this side, about the same thing. Um, it actually bites pretty good. So let's see. Okay. Better quit. There. 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 Okay. That's really not too bad. So let's try the cardboard. I can feel a little bit of burr on it because the side that I quit on, it'll push the burr on the other side. But let's see. <laughs> That's a whole lot better. Now, I'm going to take the sharpener and we're going to work on it like this. I can come back this way on that corner, set it down here, slide it, set it down there, slide it, set it down there, slide it. Go right on out here like this. Come back this way, out that way, flip it over, move it down here where it's easier to get a hold of. I'm going to kind of carve the blade a little bit that way, this way, right on around. And come back, kind of cut it a little bit. Alright. One more time on the cutting and carving. That's starting to feel pretty smooth, actually. Right now, I'm going to polish the blade. So we just do this. Turn it over. Back this way. Trade's pretty hard. That's not a, a soft steel. 
just like that. Okay, now we're going to touch it really light. I see my little red ones down here on the ground. So we'll just play with it a little bit too, just like this. <laughs> like this, we'll get it right. Pinch it a little bit harder so I don't just drop the sharpener. Okay, then we just touch it light, both sides. Play the game approximately 10 times both sides. Kind of light. It is hard steel. I am working on a hatchet. So I press just a tiny bit. Well, I press actually a lot harder than I would on a knife. And then just get lighter and lighter. Okay, let's see. First of all, we'll pick a, a fingernail. <laughs> that won't slide at all until it literally takes the fingernail off. Well, let's see what we got now for our cardboard here. For as thick as that cardboard is, it cuts pretty darn good. It bites pretty good, but give me just a second. See the rock changing color, so I know it's scratching some of the blade off. Now we just pester it really lightly. So why did I mess with it with a rock? I could take just a little bit more material off of it faster with something as aggressively gritty as the rock was. Pretty sharp. That cardboard's eh, better than a 32nd of an inch thick, anyways. Now, bites. All right. We got an apple. We got a cutting board. We got a hatchet. First of all, let's see that ain't bad. <laughs> I don't know if the hat's just long enough to get my fingers here. You know what? Didn't have far to fall, didn't cut all the way through, but a slice is pretty good. It is pretty darn sharp. And we'll wipe it off on my pants there, and we'll see how much it bites. And it, it is taking some off. It's not quite ready to shave hair. I don't know if I want a hatchet to actually shave hair. It'd have just a little too thin an edge, but I can feel there is a little edge on there. So, let's work a little. bit off. Let's leave it about that thick though. It bites good. That would cut wood really good. This is Brad Sharpens Best.com. It's a shrade. I'm going to leave it just like it is. Uh, whoever buys this hatchet, you're going to look it over and see. 
There's the boo-boo that I put across the face. I'm not going to sand on it. I could I could really make this thing nice, uh, but I'm not going to. I'm going to leave it just like it is, and I think I'll sign it. Brad Buckner. We'll put it on the website. Don't know how much yet. It's going to be very expensive. Uh, and we're going to sell this hatchet, and you're going to get the hatchet that I changed. Um, you know, and uh, so this is Brad. SharpensBest.com. You take care. Have a good day.